Uh, hello, uh, my name is Xuan Junqian, and I'm a researcher at the Center for Advanced Energy System and the Environmental Control Technologies at Morgan State University uh, in United States. Uh, today, uh, I want to present my topics in the in the uh, in sustainable uh, poultry litter into energy conversion system for poultry litter farms. Next slide. Uh, this is the agenda of the today's my presentation, uh, uh, and uh, I will follow this sequence. Next slide. Uh, as I introduced in the earlier, uh, many of you sometimes uh, are not very familiar about the poultry litter. Uh, so this is the one type of the animal waste from the poultry litter uh, farming process. Uh, this is a poultry mixture of the poultry manure plus the bedding materials, as you can see in the uh, picture one. Uh, actually, you can see some uh, yellow color and different colors there. Actually, this is uh, this is the mixture of the uh, one type of the biomass, including the sawdust, uh, race husks, uh, coffee uh, husks. Uh, it depends on the uh, 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 different countries. Uh, normally, in United States, we're using the race husks here, as well as some spare the materials feed will be mixture with this material. So, uh, why we got the intention to this is uh, uh, there is a lot of the birds, uh, chickens, as you know, we eat every day. Uh, in the United States, uh, there is a, a, a rough estimate about the uh, 8.4 8 to the 8.9 billion of the blowers uh, produced uh, uh, annually, uh, according to the USDA data. So uh, with the assumption of 1.1 to 1.4 uh, terms of the uh, poultry liter per thousand of the birds, we can have the uh, around 9.24 to 12.46 million tons of the waste. Uh, in addition, we also go to the uh, a lot of poultry farms near in our area. One of them is located in the Maryland the Eastern Show, as you can see in the picture too. Uh, the name is Darmos Health Farm, and they have three poultry house. And according to their data, there there will be the 150 to 200 tons per year generally by this farm. And uh, uh, actually this is a normal size or a little bit the smaller size uh, for the farms here. We have uh, 2000 in mainland areas only. So the data will be also estimated uh, according to the uh, nation will be the similar to this data. So next slide. So uh, actually uh, the, this is the general diagram about the portrait house. So we have a lot, a lot of this waste where it gonna be used. Uh, as you can see uh, for short term, they will clean after each cycle of the birds close five to seven be, uh, uh, normally it's six to seven weeks here. After, after the growing season, when the big chickens move out, the waste will be removed from the farm and go into the shells. Then we will uh, have a lot of the waste. Then they, most of them will be applied on the farms. But nowadays they cause a lot of problems because of there is a lot of high nutrient inside of the waste. So uh, the cause of all the nutrient runoff to the water side, which causes eutrophication, means there is a lot of nutrients inside the water. That causes a lot of uh, uh, algae blooms and other uh, algae blooms, which will be taken out all the oxygen inside the water. As you can see, the result will be cause death of the fish, as well as affect the aquatic, uh, like the lives inside the water. So next slide. Thank you. So, uh, so uh, there is a there is a lot of general like the alternative technology uh, around the world trying to convert this type of the waste, poultry litter waste, into the energy. They include about the uh, uh, actually the four main type of the uh, like the uh, technology is uh, gasification, pilots, aerobic digestion, and the combustion. Uh, we can go ahead and maybe next next slide. Uh, among all of the technology, actually, we uh, first analyze about the uh, property of the poultry litter uh, from the existing data about the, uh, uh, if, uh, from uh, different uh, like papers. So we get the mean and the uh, mean max as well as the mean of the uh, different composition from the alternative analysis as well as the approximate analysis. What we can find here is like uh, in the United States, the uh, right right hand side table is the analysis of from our samples 
we collected from the farm. As you can see, uh, the moisture data is 12.20. 12, Actually, this data is uh, a, late, a little bit uh, uh, actually higher than the average data uh, around the different places. Uh, so uh, uh, that's the why I think the, the uh, if we using a little bit higher moisture uh, moisture based uh, poultry litter itself, there will be gonna cause some problems on the uh, combustion process. So uh, so our uh, intention goes to the core combustion process. Next slide. Uh, why we go to the core combustion? Because uh, there will be the chance of we can uh, increase about the heating value, about the combustion process, well as we can have the process which will improve the combustion process, uh, combustion efficiency, as well as lower the emissions. So uh, how the core combustion is happened, we search also, there's a lot of literature review as well as other researchers who is using the core combustion with the coal. Actually, everybody knows coal. Uh, so uh, what's the problem in there is uh, like, uh, we listed all the major findings from the uh, papers. Uh, there's still uh, uh, problems on the gas emissions uh, when we uh, mix with the coal, uh, with the poultry litter. So uh, can you go next slide? So uh, our intention is how we can reduce this type of the gas emissions from here is the first goal. Uh, so our previous studies we conducted is the most focused on the combustion efficiency. As you can see, there is a two, one is in 2005 and one is in 2007. We uh, have two research groups and the first initially working on here is like we trying to uh, uh, even get the combustion efficiency also uh, pr uh, from the different uh, operating conditions. Then is uh, we predict the combustion efficiency from the operating conditions. Uh, such as the moisture content to poultry litter ratio, as well as the secondary air and its height. Uh, then uh, there is uh, after the after we uh, after the combustion process, uh, uh, we only have the heat. So uh, uh, where where we can using this heat is not studied in these studies. So our intention is how we can utilize the combustion process and the generate uh, useful energy, such as the electricity and the hot water from here. Next slide. Next slide, thank you. So uh, this is our research objectives. So first of the objective is like, uh, uh, we want to integrate uh, this uh, combustion system with the Stirling engine, which we can uh, produce a small amount of the uh, uh, electricity uh, during the poultry litter and natural gas combustion process. The second one is uh, how we can using the residue heat from the least process. So, uh, we developed a, a lab scale shell tube heat exchanger, which can pro uh, convert the heat in the flue gas into the uh, hot water. Then uh, next uh, next objective is uh, perform the life cycle analysis uh, that how we can uh, design an innovative and a sustainable poultry litter into the energy conversion system for the poultry litter farms. Next slide. Uh, this is the actually lab setup for our system, uh, which include, uh, as you can see in the uh, diagram, uh, from the left side is the uh, biomass feeding system uh, with the air feeding system on the uh, left hand side corner. We have the secondary air and the primary air injection here into the chamber. Actually, we have three layers of secondary air inside of our chambers and uh, a primary air inject to the uh, wind box and the wind box will be injected uh, uh, air uh, through the uh, specially designed primary air hose. Uh, then, uh, as you can see, the Stirling engine is injected at the, uh, at the middle of the, uh, at the actually lower part of the chamber to extract the heat, uh, convert it to the electricity. Then uh, we have the uh, instrumentation to collect the temperature data as well as the emission during the combustion process. Next slide. This is the uh, pictures when we visited farms and uh, uh, when we uh, collected uh, uh, actually waste from the farms. Yeah. Uh, uh, next slide. Yeah, this slide is okay. So uh, this slide shows that the actually uh, when we want to evaluate about the electricity uh, produced from this process, we're using uh, uh, different uh, water flow rate for the stirling engines uh, as, because uh, uh, 
when we generate electricity, we also re uh, uh, need some process to reject the heat uh, using the helium gas inside the steam engine. So we designed the uh, four different uh, speed of the water flow rate for the uh, cooling system for the steam engine, which is nine and 10.4, 13.1 and 19.5. So as, as you can see, uh, we collected uh, based on the different uh, from the actually combustion times, the uh, heat temperature, uh, head temperature of the steam engine will be also uh, recorded. So according uh, to the diagram, we can see that uh, uh, definitely when head temperature increases, that will be the higher, like the electricity uh, generated. But we find out our system uh, of the steam engine required the uh, optimal, optimal like the water temperature, water flow rate of the 13.1 liter per minute. Uh, with the head temperature of uh, 584, uh, we can generate around uh, actually 900 watts uh, for the uh, for the electricity for the farm. Actually, this is the small prototype, so the electricity is not that big, but still there is showing the possibility that we can generate from the uh, portion liter uh, and the natural gas coal combustion process. Next slide. Uh, during the emission, uh, during the combustion process, uh, uh, we already evaluated uh, electricity. In addition, we also uh, actually evaluated that uh, how we can reduce the emissions. According to uh, different uh, uh, operating conditions, we uh, also find out the uh, optimal condition for our system should be have the mixing ratio of the Porsche liter and the natural gas is 1.89 to 4.51. Uh, this uh, mixing ratio is depend on the heating value about the poultry liter and the natural gas. Then uh, excess air is 0 0.79 to 1.05. And the secondary air is in the uh, middle level, which is 850 uh, millimeters from the uh, bottom of the uh, primary air distributor. And the uh, secondary air to the total air ratio should be between the 0 0.22 to 0 0.44. Uh, this condition actually uh, gave us the value to minimize the uh, uh, nitrogen oxide as well as the sulfur dioxide uh, from the combustion process, uh, as well as the carbon monoxide from the uh, combustion process. Below table is the actually the flat ash composition analysis from here. From here, we can see that uh, after the burning process, flat ash uh, still have the high concentration of the nutrient, uh, nutrient such as the uh, 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 such as the surfer, uh, uh, surfer, uh, uh, actually surfer, uh, surf, uh, actually uh, the phosphorate as well as the potassium, as well as the nitrogen. We can utilize it as the fertilizer for the farm. Next slide. Uh, for the emissions, uh, there is a lot of in, uh, interesting, like the intention for the uh, particular matter. So we also collected the particular matter with uh, using the uh, Cortos microfiber uh, filters, then we using micro skill balance to measure about the weight. So according to the heating uh, uh, value, uh, heating value, as well as the duration and the uh, total feeding, uh, feeding rate, we calculate about the uh, PM, uh, quantify the PM uh, emissions. Uh, the, uh, the result is only 0 0.001 uh, pound per million, uh, million BTU uh, through the uh, oh combustion process, which is more lower than the threshold uh, for the mainland, uh, like here, uh, uh, environmental agencies uh, threshold, so the data is uh, good for the uh, burning at the site. So next slide. So after the burning process, we still have a lot of residue uh, from the process. So how we can utilize this residue is uh, come up with the idea is a shell and the tube heat exchanger. I think uh, uh, most of them, uh, as you can see on the right hand side picture, the cell tube exchanger include the shells, tubes, uh, uh, so uh, as well as the baffles to control about the flow path. So our idea is we will inject the flow gas to the shell, in, uh, shell side and we will inject the another side with the cold water. So cold water will be absorbed the, uh, absorbed the rest of heat to generate hot, hot water. Uh, to utilize in the farm, uh, then uh, then we can collect the more heat from this process. Next slide. So this is the uh, just a general diagram about the two D two D with the uh, detailed dimension for our like baffle size, shell size, 
as well as uh, uh, the, uh, the tube size about our system. Next slide. This is the 3D view of our system. Uh, the only uh, uh, here we can see the major component of uh, uh, in our system as well as the connection box for the tubes. So this is a picture view about this one. Uh, the detailed design is a slight change that, uh, based on the like the fabrication process. We change the tube to the twisted tube because the twisted tube will be increased the heat transfer coefficient uh, as well as decrease the pressure drop in, on the shell side. Next slide. Next, let's show the fabrication process from the raw materials. So we purchased the raw material from the shops, including the tubes, uh, connection, aluminum pipes, uh, aluminum plate, uh, flans, and uh, you can see we fabricated the uh, baffles, and we also connected the flange in the pictures. Next slide. Then next slide show the more details that uh, the, we have the two state tubes and we perform the hard, uh, hard soldering about this process. Then we get the uh, final product of our lab scale shell tube heat exchanger. And uh, this slide shows that the shell tube exchanger is installed between the combat chamber and the cyclo, cy cyclo, uh, uh, cyclone, uh, which we can uh, absorb the residue heat from here. And the processed hot water is sent to the radiators, which put inside the trailer. We have five radiators inside the trailer to mimic the, the space heating process in the polyurethane fund. So next slide. So in this process, uh, uh, we uh, according to the three hours uh, polyurethane and the natural gas combustion process, we get the uh, our hot water temperature around 139 Fahrenheit, and uh, uh, we also can create about how much heat we can absorb from the residue of the heat. Is uh, uh, about uh, 25 to 32 percent. With the uh, polyurethane house uh, is increased from 55 to uh, 85 Fahrenheit, according to the three hour about this space heating process. So this uh, uh, special uh, designed shell tube heat exchanger is already uh, filled the uh, intelligible property uh, like the disclosure in our school and the uh, pro provisional pattern is processed. So next slide. So uh, uh, through our studies, so uh, we uh, developed uh, this sustainable life cycle uh, well, poultry litter uh, in the poultry litter farm. As we can see, uh, again, is, uh, this is a picture view about the, when we have the waste from the poultry uh, litter farms, then this will go into the shells. Then we will move from shells to our combustion chamber. Then chamber have two components uh, with this one, is a uh, sterling engine and the shell tube exchanger which one side will produce the electricity, another side is the hot water. Then electricity will be uh, supplied to the fan, uh, exhaust fan, uh, like the, there is internal uh, internal fans on the poultry litter farm, as well as the lighting bulbs inside the farm will be utilized this electricity. And hot water will be utilized for the space heating system, which is the radiator we mimicked in the trailer house, will be installed to the farm to supply the hot waters, for the uh, heating process for the farms during the winter seasons. And then there, there is the rest of the fly ash, which can be utilized as the biochar, so uh, which uh, apply to the copland. Then this is reduced volumes that will be reduced transportation cost, as well as uh, uh, can be uh, growing to, uh, to the, for the, uh, like the materials which eat by the chickens. So uh, this uh, total, all the process is all contribute to the farm side for the growing of the chickens, uh, supplied for the feed materials, as well as the energy utilized in this process. So next slide. So through all of this, uh, our study is uh, like, uh, this is a summary of our study. We collected the electricity about 0.5 watts with the emissions here, which is all uh, most of the, uh, according, uh, in our optimal conditions, we can lower than the emission standards uh, here. Then uh, we also produce uh, around the 139 uh, Fahrenheit hot waters, which can be utilized for the space heating process. Uh, then our like life cycle, uh, like the pictures really shows that this can be uh, built as a small on-farm scale uh, poultry litter to the uh, energy system, conversion system for the poultry litter farms. Next slide. 
some of the future study here shows that uh, we still need some more analysis about the energy flows, like from the fuel, in the initial fuel uh, have the heating content of the fuels. From there, each process, there is how many energy is generated and transferred from this process still need to be uh, analyzed. Then is the uh, still the uh, reduce about the more moisture content that we can have the more uh, better better performance during the combustion process. So there can be some pelletizing as well as pre pre drying process for the polish liter using the flow gas is our idea. Then uh, next uh, next uh, future study will be the uh, ash removal from the uh, like the combustion process or uh, as well as the utilization. Uh, which are also uh, a big topic, uh, topic areas in the biomass combustion areas. Next slide. So uh, here is the uh, picture about our lab members, as well as there is some funding shots for our project, which included the uh, Mainland Innovative uh, Initiative Grant, as well as the Mainland Industrial Partnerships and the ABLE Foundation, which uh, support our project. This is our lab of the members. Uh, thank you for my uh, like co-workers as well as the lab director, Dr. Lee, and uh, my co-workers, Priyam, Jessica, Raphael, as well as Sam, Young, Mark, uh, Moses, Rahul, uh, and the other, uh, Stanley, Hamad. So uh, this is all of my present presentations. I think that, thank you for your listening and uh, uh, thank you for, uh, I will accept uh, any questions. Thank you very much.